What's up guys, this is Biz, and today we're going to do something a little different on the channel. You know, there's a great runner on YouTube who does uh, UV Max and Nightmare 100 Secret runs uh, by the name of A1S. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description uh, of the video below if you're somehow not familiar with it. Uh, anyways, I was watching one of his videos a while back, I don't remember which one exactly, but... He mentioned something about paying his respects to a difficult wad or map, and you know what? I've got to pay my respects to Sigil Map 6. Now at first glance, this doesn't look like a difficult map. It's only 68 kills. Pretty early BFG if you're secret hunting. As he starts to slog through the first half of the map, facing a whole bunch of mid to high tier monsters, scrounging around for health trying to dodge in the tight corridors and the pitch black rooms, running low on practically every type of ammo except for cells while knowing damn well that you need to save them for the big finale, you really start to realize that this map ain't messing around. That's just the easy half. Now you're at least five minutes in on the run and you're heading to the maze of death. Imps and hit scanners dotting the maze walls ready to chip away at your health if you try to snipe them from the start, or they're ready to rain down the fire on you from off screen if you dare to rush into the maze. And you got the turbo piggies lying in wait all around the maze, ready to block your movement or just hungry for a big old bite. There's that lonely baron up in the guard tower, just in case you forgot where you are or what the hell you're doing there. And you decide it's a good idea to stand in one place for too long. Oh, he's going to harass you with those big damage booger balls. Ah, uh, of course, how could I forget the cyber demon? The glue that holds the whole damn thing together. Lurking around any given corner. Firing those rockets the second you see him. Splashing you with the area damage as you try to dodge in the claustrophobic passages. You know, it's a strange feeling when you run up against a tough level and you finally overcome it. And so I think it's only appropriate to rewind the tape here. I'm going to play you my 17 attempts where I met an untimely demise. And that's how I'm going to pay my respects to Sigil E5M6 Unspeakable Persecution. Alright guys, this was attempt number one, and so I had practiced up this map, you know, done a run through with saves, kind of got a feel for the layout and everything, and where the secrets are, and uh, first attempt, I made it to the maze, I was all jacked up, you know, nerves start to get going a little bit, first run, you're already at the, the toughest part. I was pretty happy. Forgot I had the chainsaw there. So, lost a couple extra bites to that pinky. Using the plasma, that's, you know, not a great idea. I'm out of everything else, though, at this point. No bullets, no shells. I got rockets, but there's no rocket launcher in sight. And that'll give me, for some reason, I'm still hanging out up here. That's how you know, I didn't really practice this part. I got through it with saves, and then I made a, a uh, save file at the uh, Cyber Demon, and I really practiced killing him. And this first run, it really shows. I'm clueless in here. I got no health. Am I going to make it to the Berserk? Yeah, somehow we get that second Berserk. I don't even think I... I fought the Cyber D I don't even think I saw him in this run. Just got picked apart right here by the Pinky. And there's still too many enemies up on the walls. I'm not sure what I did here. I think at this point I was kind of figuring... I don't have enough health to fight the Cyber Demon. 
I'm gonna make a run up on the wall, so I think that's what winds up happening. Actually, I think that was my strategy at the start. Let's see. I guess you did see the Cyber Demon. Yeah, look at the trepidation. Look at the timidity. <laughs> Got no idea what to do. Yeah, I was like, let's go. There's a supercharge, there's some health packs, there's armor at the end too. I got plenty of cells. And, uh, yeah. Oh. Got nervous, forgot where I was. And, uh, fell right off the walls. Second attempt. And I think y'all know how this is gonna end. Oh yeah, big ol' splash damage. <laughs> Alright, so this was attempt number two. I'd gotten all the way to the red key door. Health and armor looking pretty decent. And uh, I'm about to go down there and uh, BFG these uh, barons. Just kind of luring them away from the radiation suit now. Maybe one of you Doom nerds can tell me why I'm such an idiot, but uh, check this out. Pull out the BFG and here we go. One, two, uh, three, and did you see any tracers on the first two shots? I didn't. I don't think I did any damage to these guys. Of course, I run out of chain gun ammo and, and I pay the ultimate price here. But I just thought that was crazy. No BFG tracers? Huh? Alright, this was the third attempt. Made it all the way back to the maze. Taking it cool and calm here at the start. I'm trying to pick off the enemies. Now, I haven't really memorized their positions on the wall. So, I'm trying to like squint through the darkness to see them. And of course, doing an awful job. Now, wake this pinky up. Um, running out of shells here. I haven't grabbed the Berserk yet, which is smart. You know, saving it in case I get low on health. I think now I realize I only have like three shells left, so I gotta get in there. And of course, despite um, taking my time and trying to clean stuff off, I left everything up on the wall, so I'm just getting smoked. I think now I realize, hey, I gotta go for the Berserk and come around this corner and oh yeah, blocked by the pinky. I didn't even have the fists out. Pfft, what a waste. Alright guys, this was attempt number four. And this should have been the run, let's be honest. Not only did I make it to the red key area with 100 health, I got through the red key area with 100 health, through the invulnerability section with 100 health, and now I'm at the maze with 100 health and 80 armor. I got most of the front walls cleared off. There's two... Uh, working on the third pinky here. Plenty of ammo. I mean, things are looking great. And, uh, of course I squander it. <laughs> you know. I still don't know where all the pinkies are. You can see here I'm kind of like, uh, wandering around. Not sure what to do. I decide to go to the left here. And I'm like standing here. Ooh, surprise, Sybe. I'm standing there getting uh, sniped by the guys up on the walls. Now, one thing I didn't notice is actually the cyber demon's going to get hit by, I think, this imp. And it's going to start infighting. And uh, you should be able to hear it. Yeah, you can hear him still firing rockets. What I should have done is gone over there and sprayed him with the BFG, but, you know, just inexperience. Wasn't aggressive, still playing a little scared. Oh, there's a guy up there. Good thing I noticed him. I think there's just two or maybe three enemies over on the left side of the maze left. 
And again, I should be attacking. Now at this point, I had a, a saved game right here where I had way less health than this and way less cell ammo. I think I only had three shots. I've got over five now for the BFG. And I I got pretty consistent at taking down the Cyber Demon, but for some reason when I do these runs, I just kind of freeze up. Nope, oh yeah. Just hanging around trying to catch a rocket. Still got a Berserk left too, keep that in mind. Now I finally know this is a shotgunner up here in the Imp. Decided to take them out. I think the maze is clear. But I still got this strat to do the wall run. Now this is a prime example of uh, something that works on paper. Because I was doing this during the save game runs and I get through. But it doesn't work in a real run. And of course I catch two rockets and get knocked off. And now I'm just so desperate. That um, nerves kick in and I totally forget. That right here around the corner is 100 health with the Berserk. So, yeah. And then you can predict the rest. Same spot. Catch a rocket. Mm, it's, it's almost painful to look at. Alright guys, this is attempt number 5. Now with this one, I came in with pretty good health. I got wrecked at the start by all these... Uh, imps and everything and I just picked up the berserk and now I'm down to like 39 and I'm just hanging around here and then uh, I try to make this great move and just get wrecked by the hit scanner so now it's like panic time six health got to go for the berserk okay uh, whoo just barely got it Let's see. I think I get ambushed by another pinky here. Let's see. Yep, there he is. Okay. Hold up. Now, if you look right here, check this out. Yeah, that's the cyber demon right behind me. Crazy. Look at me. I'm just like taking my sweet time. And then I hang out there for an extra second just because to tempt fate. Only good thing about fast monsters is he'll just keep shooting and shooting. It's very rare. Oh, look out. It's very rare that he takes a step between shots. It happens, but, you know. So I almost got ambushed again. Here's another pinky. I mean, now I've squandered all the berserks. Again, I'm sitting on 196 cells. I could engage this guy, but instead I want to play a little more peekaboo. Still an imp up there. And uh, I realize now that that central gate's open. Generally, you don't want to open that till like, I don't know, the end or something. I don't know, maybe there's a strat with it. I don't have one. So now I'm trying to figure out what to do. Do I fight the cyber demon with 59% health? Or do I stick with my brilliant plan and run along the walls? I think I wind up do doing that. It was getting late at this point. This is, I think, the second to last attempt of the day. And now, of course, I took some splash damage because I'm just lollygagging around in the maze. I got to come up on the walls and, yeah, another death by rocket. Rip. All right, guys, attempt number six. This was the last one for the day. It's like well past my bedtime. I figured, what the hell, let's do one more. I picked up the Berserk and got brave, ran in the maze, and realized, oh yeah, there's a guy there. And so now I'm down in the dirty 30s on both health and armor. A little desperate. But hey, we're in there. The walls are pretty clear. You know, this run is salvageable. I still got a Berserk. And uh, having some trouble punching the piggy. And just being generally cautious, nervous about the cyber demon. 
Everything you don't want to do on this level. Not saying that you should be cavalier, but... Okay. And then, yeah, right there, I just get cornered by the pinky. And it really doesn't matter because um, I, I was probably for sure going to eat a Cyber Demon Rocket. I mean, he's like two steps away from coming around that corner, so... Anyways, I called it there. I was like, listen, I'll come back the next day, pick this up, and it, it helped. All right, this was attempt number seven. It's a new day. I slept on the whole thing. I took a break. The clippity-clop of the cyber demon footsteps was haunting my dreams. I came back with a fresh head. I got all the way to the maze. And then right here, I made a crucial mistake. I stepped way too close to that door and uh, it starts opening, which I had never done before. And that's gonna be my undoing on this run. It was, it was a great run otherwise. I got all the way to the invulnerability section with 100 health. Had a little bit, bit of a problem in there. I kinda got smoked, uh, but you get a berserk here and it's fine. And uh, oh yeah, now I realize there's a problem. The cyber demon is just waltzing right through the front door. And I go back for a second opinion. And oh yeah, he's right in my face. I've got two BFG cell, uh, balls. Definitely not enough other ammo. And at this point, I think I realize, like... Yeah, there's no way. I'm just delaying the inevitable. So, what do you do? Pull out the BFG and... Go in like a hero? Uh, no, I go out like a chump. Rocket straight to the face. I sat here a while. I was, I was a little upset. That's not a good sign on a first run of the day. All right, attempt number eight. Now this one was kind of funny. I cleared out the walls. I was dancing around that berserk, so I saved it. I have a pretty good start here with the pinkies. I catch a little splash damage there, though. I actually died in a funny way on this one. So it was about this time where I had an idea that maybe I should, instead of practicing killing the cyber demon, maybe I should practice getting to the point where I can fight him. So I think it was after this death right here because I'm in the maze that's I think all the pinkies I'm gonna go for the berserk here oh yeah I ate a big old barren ball so now I'm like I'm definitely going for the berserk I think I was thinking about taking the cyber demon on because up to this point I'm not fought him in a run I got ambushed by that pinky and of course catch a huge rocket Now right here, I make a dumb mistake. I'm hanging around back here. This is not a safe area. Now I run into the cyber demon. And the funny thing is, if you notice on the walls, these metal struts, they actually stick out a little bit. And um, just to add to the whole problem of this map, yeah, you get stuck on them. And I got stuck there for about half a second and eat a huge rocket. And I think this was the point where I was like, I need to go back to the drawing board on this map. Alright, this was attempt number 9. I went back to the drawing board again on this map. I ran through the whole thing with saves. I saved right before I got to the maze, and I practiced just clearing it out, getting to the cyber demon fight. You can see now I got a better idea of where the pinkies are. I developed kind of a strategy with them, go left, then go right. Wake a bunch of them up. And uh, this was going to be the run. I had a better strategy. No more running up on the walls, catching rockets. And I think as I was practicing, I'd wound up eating a lot of uh, round the corner rockets. So I saw that and that made me real on edge for this run. But yeah, this guy, I think he had gotten hit by the Baron, so he was out of place, but no biggie. I want to make my way back. I'm checking for rockets. And you never see it coming. 
I can't tell you how mad I was. <laughs> Alright guys, this was attempt number 10. The invulnerability section, and right away it's like, what am I doing? I must have been having a, a moment. Because I'm hanging around here, taking my sweet time. And then I realize, oh yeah, I gotta grab the chainsaw to get this moving. At this point, I'm gonna run out of invulnerability. But I wanted to point out, this hallway is like notorious. For eating up hit scan attacks. Watch this pinky. I'm like directly chainsawing him, and he's not doing any damage. And of course I just get s trapped in there and smoked by the Baron. I don't know what it is about this hallway, but if you're at the end shooting or you're trying to come in, it seems like the shots, the hit scan shots especially, just disappear. So weird. Alright, attempt number 11, back at the maze of death. AKA my burial ground. All right, run so far. Until that pinky decided to not cooperate. Uh, yeah, now I gotta try to salvage this. Only one option, really, go for the berserk. There's one guy, one imp alive back there. It's probably shotgunner and an imp over here. No idea why he came this way. This is like the worst way to go. Luckily we didn't get scammed by the hit scanner. And uh, yeah, just being too cautious. Ate a rocket. Right to the face. Another peek around the corner. You know, going back and looking at these demos is kind of illuminating. I haven't died once fighting the cyber demon. Every time I've died is like running away from him. But anyways, this is attempt number 12, by the way. Uh, I've definitely gotten a lot better at knowing where the pinkies are. I think I have them all memorized except for one. That kind of spooks me at the end here. And also, I run right by... No, I guess I get these guys. I thought I ran right by them, but maybe not. So let's see here, we're going to go to the right. I mean, health and armor is looking great. Got this pinky here. Not a good job punching him, but we still got the berserk, so no big deal. And I'm ready to fight the cyber demon. 100 health, no armor. Let's do it. Yeah, psych. I just need to find out where he is, so... He's over there, let's go this way, and um, of course, I run into this pinky. Now, this one caught me off guard and kind of threw the run. But this was kind of the point where it's like, now I know where all the pinkies are. So I think I punch him out, and then what happens is the Baron chucks something at me. Oh no, it's this imp. There's another imp up there, and I'm like, I thought I killed him. I go to clean him out, and of course, I get stuck again. I think that's twice in that spot. Catch that nasty rocket. Alright, attempt number 13 here. Um, not much to say. The next couple are going to be short and sweet. I went on a nasty losing streak here. Um, if you've ever been gambling, you know how that goes. So, yep. Yeah. Another victim claim to the invul uh, invulnerability section. I didn't have much health going in here. I think I was at nine right before I dropped down. And yeah, I just, I think I get trapped in here. It happens if you're not being careful. Nope, just ate two caco lightning balls. Oof. Alright, attempt 14, and another painfully short run. Didn't even get through the first half of the map. What a bummer. As you can see, the uh, black and white mode claims another victim. Again, chainsawing the pinky, and he's just not taking damage. That just took way too long. 
There's something about that hallway, man. I don't know what it is. You gotta kind of like hit him on an angle. Oh yeah, just too low. Here come the pinkies. It's not gonna end well. You know, you know what it is. Big bites. All right, at 10.15 here, and I try something a little different. I try lowering the lift first. So I just drop right down instead of having to ride it. I got hung up on the, sh the candelabras or whatever those are. Anyways, dying three times in a row here is pretty demoralizing. It's definitely probably the low point of the run, but you know what they say. It's always darkest before the dawn. And I'm just totally screwed. They're already in here. Not what you want. Wasting chain gun ammo. Oh yeah. Same pinky. Don't worry, we'll turn it around. Alright, attempt 16. At least we broke the losing streak. Back in my favorite resting place. The maze of death. Health is really low. I've already grabbed the first berserk. Guess I'm not paying attention. I haven't completely cleaned everything off the walls, but now I'm desperate. It's time to get in here. It's like just pinkies roaming around. And a hole. Hey, at least we got one Baron kill in there. Alright, this was the final losing run. Attempt 17. I really took my time here, sniping stuff off the walls. I already grabbed the first Berserk. I think one pinky's down. This has really been kind of a introspective look back. I mean, I learned a lot watching these demos. I'd recommend, guys, if you're not recording demos of your runs, just do it. Even if you die, even if you're just playing casually, it is fun to come back and look at these. Learn from your mistakes. Yeah, this was it. I was back to the maze. Having a great run here. Lots of armor, full on health. So I got one that one last pinky over there, and I also got the three guys up here, so... I had a pretty good strat where I wake this guy up, like, on the second pinky demon, he wakes up way in the back, and they always get stuck there. And now from here, you got two options. If the cyber demon's over on the right side, uh, you take care of this pinky. If he's over here in this corner where I'm standing, you go take care of the guys on the back wall. So, yeah, it took it took a while. I wasted some time, but, you know, we got here and we got a solid strat. I got tons of cells. I'm ready to rock and roll on the Cyber Demon, and, of course, he just bodies me. Just bodies me. I walked right into him again. But, hey, what are you going to do? Anyways, that's it. Those were all the failed runs, and, again, just paying my respects to Unspeakable Persecution. A tough but fair map, and I think it deserved a few words to be said. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.